He needs a polygraph. <laughs> You're kidding, right? John, he is not gonna go for that. You got another suggestion I should know about? What? The man needs a moment. <laughs> a moment? <laughs> for what? So you can come up with a better lie, a, a, a different stratagem, a moment? I don't think so. The man thinks his, just, his wife was just murdered. It's basic decency. No, we're... <sighs> 10 minutes. That's all I need. Mr. Shamar, how you doing? You okay? You good? Not touching that antiquated machine. Uh, just, yeah, look, forget about that. Just tell me what happened. I'm a suspect. My wife's been murdered. What do you want me to say besides I want to speak with my lawyer? How about to the best of your knowledge? Whatever you told me is all I know. Surely you remember something from your day. Look, we're having, you understand, we're having a little difficult time accepting today's a total blank for you. I remember being dragged from my car at my house by your bruisers. I had no idea why until you told me. There was no house or driveway. We picked you up in a parking lot on 5th and Tuttle, and that's not what I asked you. Whichever, I told you. I only remember waking up this morning, heading out to work, then being arrested. And why the hell am I a suspect? Wait a minute. I want my lawyer. What work, Zachariah? The office. I was coming from my office downtown. Your office? Every record we have on you says that you're a broke, divorced painter from Shreveport, Louisiana for a living. You sell art. You don't even have an office. Unbelievable. I'm a Jewish insurance salesman from the Bronx. Isn't it obvious? Seriously? Do I look like an artist? Am I dressed like an artist? The records aren't wrong. Plus, the pictures of the, of the murdered woman is of a Caucasian Greek Orthodox Christian with final stage small cell carcinoma, lung cancer. There's no way she's your wife. What happened to 10 minutes? No discipline, no patience. Mr. Shema, look at the pictures. Huh? Come on, tell me what you see. Tell me what you see. No. I can't. Not jarring any memories, huh? Really? Jeez. Let me help you out here. Your mark is all over this house. Your your fingerprints, your 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 hair, your your genetic residue, and every other goddamn form of identification. You don't say. I live there, you schmuck. Actually, yes, I do say. This is the home security cam. Hmm? This is showing you entering at 1715 hours. And this is you exiting the premises the very next morning. Now, it seems to me that she was alone in that house when you decided That's you were not me. And yet you say that this is your, your house, this is your wife. Yeah, but. Yeah, but, yeah, but then this video is you. It's a 2050s, detective. It's easy to fake those videos. And you know that. John. Yehovah doesn't like liars. Sorry, man. That's a shame. Zachariah. How about this? Huh? You see this? No. You see this? Come on. I love my wife. I loved her. I cared for her with all my soul. 
and that's not me. Really, I'll tell you what is you. This photo we scraped from your social media is one of many. This that's is you. Me. This no. is you. This is you. That's not me. No, these are fake. But this whole thing is real. This is not Look, you sense. walked into that house. You, and you murdered her. That house is my house. This was my wife. You know what? You suffocated her while she was in her bed. She fought while you sat on top of her, holding her down until she died. You autopsy's got your damn DNA all over her. The only thing we want to know is why. John! What? You look a second. Look at where he was going to on his way from home. That parking lot. You recognize it? Yeah, so? Mr. Shaman. Jesus Christ. What is your first memory of yesterday? Sunrise, I guess. I don't know. It's been a rough day. And your last memory is? When I was arrested. You recognize that parking lot? Look at it! I have no idea where that is. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, that was the, uh, that's the parking lot where we uh, tracked down that black market memory augmentation group. They were doing 20 EU mod treatments. That's 15 engram units above safe limit. The Federal ID Enhancement Bureau- My Deb classifies it as illegal and unsafe, yeah. All clear, man. Great to get those jackets off. Yeah. 20 engram units of modification leads to psychological instability big time, man. I don't think he knows who he is. So you're saying he's an undeclared, undocumented ID mod? Yeah. ID modified. Mm. We got to report this to find out immediately. He could be in hypocampal engineering shop. We don't know. Hey, hold, hold off on that. Hold off. John. It would make him the victim, not the criminal. If his ID has been modified, he wouldn't have any memory beyond a certain point anyhow. No, okay. come on, this, this guy's guilty. I, I feel it, I sense it, I know it. And I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Don't. Don't what? We must follow procedure this time. I'm right about this, Noah. Look, John, you said yourself, you're impatient. If he's undocumented and we push him without reporting it, you know we're gonna get fried. He could be suffering from long-term potentiation or whatever they call it, reading fake memories. I know how this ball game goes. I've seen this fish before. I know how it's gonna end. Uh, this whole thing's rotten. Sit down with me. Let's think this thing through first, and then he's all yours. I'll hold off on reporting it to find out for now. Deal? All right. So, right now, he either believes that he's innocent, but his previous ID committed the crime, and in which case he's honest, but guilty. Or his previous ID didn't commit the murder and his current ID claims innocent. 
In which case he's honest and innocent. Either way, he's being honest, which makes him guiltless. Uh, yeah, in a sense, yeah. But look, this is a, a, a delightful scholastic exercise, an unsettled law. One of his IDs had to have done this. And I'm gonna to get to the bottom of this. I smell a snake, Noah, and I don't like snakes. John, that person out there is innocent. The person he was before is the murderer. Now you're speculating. Well, sure, but he could also be knowingly guilty without having any memory of any wrongdoing. You mean if he involuntarily had his memories replaced by those of the actual murder? No. No, there's another option. It's my turn now. John, that man out there is completely convinced of his own innocence. A deal's a deal. Damn rookie. Come on, John. Sam, no, I did it. Mr. Shaman. <laughs> my bride, my life. I'm not a murderer. How? Mr. Shema. Oh. My soulmate. What have I done? Mr. Shema. My partner and I, we've been talking. We've been trying to work all this out, think it through. We actually don't think that you're who you... Wait a second, I'll be right back. I think we uh, missed something. Now, before you go cold jumping into any conclusions, just, just hear me out. I thought that he thinks that he's guilty, but with the memories of an innocent man. Stolen memory ID, illegal, got it. Either way, he's guilty but he could think that he's innocent with the memories of an innocent man, thereby being unaware of any guilt. Yeah, yeah, I follow, but uh, look, I'm still going with guilty and lying. But is he? Yeah. The database has his very Jewish face with a very Jewish name, and they have him listed as a broke artist from Louisiana. He thinks he's an insurance salesman from the Bronx and that he murdered his wife. Who's the victim's real husband? I'm guessing the insurance salesman. <sighs> so he's unknowingly guilty because what? His memories are from an innocent man? What? Yeah. Wait, which one is guilty? The, 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 the artist or the insurance salesman? Exactly. But he could be knowingly guilty because his memories are from a guilty man, which means his current ID didn't actually commit the murder. Ouch. Wait, what if he, 
What if he involuntarily had his memories replaced by those of the actual murder? I mean, what, what, what if he didn't choose to, to have the procedure? Then he's the victim. He thinks he's the murderer and that he murdered his wife. The surveillance video has him at the scene of the crime at the time of the murder, and that's that's all we have to go on. It's circumstantial evidence. But there's no way that his current ID knows that was him in the video. <sighs> what about the DNA and the fingerprints? We're not a jury, John. We can't let the system fail. We have to call FIDEB right away and let them sort this out. But I may have broken an innocent man. Who, who could have actually committed the murder? And he thinks he killed his wife, who's not actually his wife. We have to tell him. <laughs> you need to tell him. I need to revel in it and call Fidel. Well, then who am I? Whose memories are these? Well, that's what we're gonna find out. Wait, so I'm innocent? Uh, in a manner of speaking, uh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Shabbat, uh, these are uh, unsettled disputes for, for higher legal minds than mine. Um, I, I'm just, I'm here for the facts, you know, and we have a video of you in the house at the time of the murder. That's, that's all we have. So that's not my wife? Did I murder her or not? I'm me. I mean, right? We don't think so, no. No, but, but, but listen, we're, we're, we're going to get you the, 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 the best help. Then why do I still love her? Yeah. So ID conflict is my defense. But I can't stop the hurt. It still hurts. I miss her, but she's not my wife. We believe that you are a victim of involuntary hippocampal engineering by the murderer who, who was you before the you now. And I'm an artist. I don't know anything about art. Oh man, I'm, I'm truly sorry. M Mr. Schmall. I'm sorry.
Make the call. Cut him loose. Yeah. Thanks for, uh, you know, thanks for keeping me straight. Zachariah, you remember me, I assume. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I never, um, I never learned your real name since you. Detective Contos, of course. Yes, Zachariah. Please sit. Oh no no no! I'm, I'm waiting to order. Um, I just came over to see how you're doing. How you're recovering. We sent you to FIDEB for recovery? Yeah, yeah, I was cleared. I'm doing fine now, thanks. How's Detective Cuss? Noah, yeah, no, 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 Noah's good. Yeah, he's good. Um, listen, I, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to apologize to you. Um, I mean, not that anything changes really, but well, we mishandled, I mishandled it. Well, apology accepted, detective. All's well, that ends well. You were only doing your job. I suppose I would have done the same. Well, I, I should get going. Um, again, I, I truly apologize. You played us. Well, damn. It was nearly a perfect performance, wouldn't you say? And you thought I was the one who couldn't tell reality from fiction. Had you pretty messed up once you were convinced I was the victim. Although, I don't know what I could have done without your gullible partner. You should have went with your intuition. You are good. I'll give you that. And you were right about one thing. She wasn't my wife. We weren't married. She was so sick. And I loved her too much to watch her suffer a long and painful death from lung cancer. You can't imagine. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. But she was miserable. That was the morning the light of my life went out. So, we planned it carefully. We talked one last time that morning. And 
I covered her face with that pillow. That same pillow that was between us each night. When I left, I grieved. It had to be me as the victim, you see? And I truly was. I didn't want this. But what do you know about love? You just wanted another notch on your prosecutorial belt for some self-serving promotion. Fuck you. Wait a sec. So you're not an insurance salesman, right? Right. You're an artist from Louisiana. Yeah. Because it sounds to me like you're from the Bronx. Zachariah. 